All right, today is August 20th, 2022. Happy birthday, Brittany. <laughs> um, so I caught COVID and this was on tu- uh so Tuesday I went in I was I went in I got checked in cuz I had a high fever, you know, body aches, my nose was runny. I wasn't feeling good. And my yeah, and, I, and, and my throat was hurting and I was like I was like I get checked in, I go in. Um they do a uh uh COVID test and a strep strep throat uh, test so I'm like oh, okay cool you know I'm hoping that it's strep because at least if it's strep I know what it is and we've dealt with that before COVID is still relatively it's still it's still new and it's developing and um, and we don't really know much about it much about yeah we don't know a whole lot about it so you know uh, I'm sitting there and I'm waiting in the office and I should have knew this was a like I it was a red flag because it took a while. You know they were like, oh, it'll take fifteen minutes or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And <clears throat> and um um I uh it was more than fifteen minutes. It was like twenty twenty five minutes. And the doctor comes in. He's like, hey. Um, I hate to say this, but you know, you got, you tested positive for COVID and he's like keeping his distance. Like, he, you know, it's a big room. So he's like all the way up. He's on the other side with, res- you know, respectfully, that's fine. That's perfect. I respect that, you know? Um, so then like, he like extends, like he, he's a, he's a pretty tall guy. So he like had long ass arms. So he's extending and shit. And I'm like, you know, doing the same thing. Cause I'm not trying to get close to him. And, you know, he's all like, um, and then he's, uh, and then he's like, you know, just, you know, stay home. The CDC says, you know, the quarantine for five days. So he counts down the days and then it's like Monday, you'll be able to resume normal activity. And I didn't have any questions for him. I should have asked, but I'm just kind of sitting there in my head. I'm like, Fuck. Or not in my head. I even said it out loud. Like, he's like, you know, he tested positive for COVID. I'm like, fuck. And he's like, yeah, I know that's not the news you've been wanting to hear. You're wanting to hear. I'm like sitting there like, shit. And I'm still trying to convince myself, like, what about the strep? Like, how did that come? He's like, oh, that came back negative. I'm like, fuck. So, you know, he says, follow the instructions on the pamphlet. Uh, yeah, just stay home for five days, get some rest, drink plenty of fluids, and uh, take medicine for your throat, nasal stuff for your nose, and then, you know, that's all you can really do. I'm like, all right. So I go home, I text my fiance, you know, yeah, I got COVID. I come home, and I just go straight into my room. I just, the first two days were awful. I was just laying in bed, dying. My I could... My my voice didn't sound the same. You know, I was I was really going through it. A fever. My body was hot. I took you know I took asymphetamine and I just rest a lot. <laughs> I laid. I was just laying there dead. My fiance said she would come in and check up on me. Just crack the door open, peep, and see that I was just asleep. And I was like, "How did I look?" I was like, "You look dead." I was like, "Ah, uh, well, I, sh- I sure as fuck felt like it." You know, it was not it was not fun. And then by like day three and four, you know, I'm I'm starting to be a little more active. I'm starting to be more alive, feeling a bit better. Um, you know, I'm taking it easy. <clears throat> and then like about well, like well not like my fifth day, but like on like throughout the week, um, like on Let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday, like on Thursday and Friday, I'm feeling much better and I'm able to, I'm able to, uh, I'm able to not be so, so weak and so fatigued about everything. So 
Um, you know, I'm watching anime. I'm playing a little bit of video games. I took a bath. I worked. I tried to work out a little bit, but just just a little bit. I'm not. I wasn't like lifting weights. You know, pumping out iron and shit. I'm just you know light exercises. You know, with the uh, resistant band, do a couple of those things. Do my stretches. Um, obviously, drink plenty of fluids. I drink so much fucking Pedialyte. Like I'm getting sick of that shit. I drank so much of that stuff. Um, <clears throat> as far as food goes, I hardly ate. Like the first, you know, few days, I hardly ate. I didn't touch anything. Um, <clears throat> Cause it my my throat hurt. I didn't. My throat was hurting, so I didn't really swallow. Like being able to swallow my own spit was hurt. Was hurting. It hurt my throat. So I hardly even ate. Um, and then now when my throat was feeling better, I was able to take more food in. You know, and I started eating a bit more, which was good for me at least. I I like eating, um, so you know it makes me feel a bit better. Um, and then I cleaned up my room, cause my room was fucking trash. You know, cough, drop wraps everywhere. My plates and bowls that I was, you know, that I did use to eat. <coughs> um. Uh. You know, empty bottles of Pedialyte. It was just bad. It was just all... It was dirty. So, you know, once I was feeling better, I cleaned up. Because when I had a clean room, it made me feel better. Um, and, uh, you know, you know, by like, f- by like Friday and like Saturday, you know, my fiance... Me, you know, my fiance came to talk to me. But, you know, we kept our distance. You know, I ordered food you know, we ate, and we ate and talk. And that was when, like, that was when the whole social, like, thing, like, really hit me. And then I really soaked, I soaked that up. The, I was telling her, like, babe, like, oh, my God, like, I miss this. I miss you. I, I miss the pets. You know, I missed everything. And because it's, it's, like I said, it's cool when I'm, when I want to be, home and alone but i want to be like i said i want to be a home alone and well because i want to be able to hang out with my fiance i want to be able to walk around my own apartment without the getting anybody without the fear of getting anybody sick you know <clears throat> and nobody's really ready for that like emotional part you know what i'm saying if they if they are like they're fucking crazy <laughs> like you probably need to get you probably need to get checked like like, cause it's not normal, man. It's not. It's not right, and you know, that's why I would say like get get vaccinated. Cause I feel like if I wasn't, if I wasn't vaccinated and and I got the and I got COVID, you know, this would have been a longer process. I would have been out. You know what I'm saying? They probably would have left some permanent damage because of my body didn't know how to recognize it and how to take care of it. So I just, I highly suggest everyone get it. You know, you know, it develops your immune system. It develops your body, recognizes something as a, like, hey, you don't belong here. And then it takes care of it. And, you know, you have a faster recovery and you have a, and then, you know, faster recovery means you can go back to work and go back to being social you go back to hang out with your family, your friends, you know, it's, you know, if you don't, if like, if you don't want to do it for yourself, that's fine. But do it for those, like, do it for those around you. You know, a lot of people have jobs that you, you're in group, like you're with people, you're with other people, you're with hundreds of people, if not less. And... <clears throat> and you want to get them sick in that in turn they get someone else that they love sick you know people people there are people out there that are immune compromised and that like and that that could kill someone and you're like okay with that <laughs> like you know what i mean um and then there's those that are asymptomatic that are that have it, but the the but they're they don't show any symptoms, and then they get someone sick. You know it's fucked up, man. Like it's it's a it's not a it's not a 
thing you would want on your conscience. Even if you didn't give it to them, there's a chance that you might have. And, you know, there's also that chance that someone else might have got it. But you, you want to live on that chance? You know what I mean? Like, I, I wouldn't, like, mentally want to sit on that chance. Like, holy shit, it's just, you know, that I potentially could have taken out someone because because I was a care like because I had it and I wasn't being ca- like cautious <clears throat> um and I'm not gonna lie I was definitely in denial because I didn't want to admit that I had it because I got I was already vaccinated before I got it and I had my booster shots but I still felt guilt I still felt like like, I still feel terrible because I got it. Because I was like, "Well, why me?" You know, there's people out there who aren't vaccinated, and they're they don't get they didn't get it. Like, what the fuck? Like, just you know, are they better than me? Are they smarter than me? Like, what? You know, was this all for naught? Like, but you got to look at it as like you got the vaccine, and you got to look at and you got COVID. You got to look at it as. That, not that you got it, but that that you still did your obligation. You still did your like civil duty to to get vaccinated. You still went and did it, you know. Um, and that you prevented spreading it. You prevented like you know getting someone sick, you know. Um. <clears throat> and uh you know that's that's how I try to look at it you know that I I still went out and got vaccinated and I still got my boosters and um and that honestly like it's a virus you know it's not going to be selective it's not going to be like mm, you you know it's going to go whoever is in contact with it you know and uh <coughs> and you just have to be prepared. That's all I can really say. And um and shit happens, man. That's that's what my fiance told me. Like shit happens. Yeah, it sucks, you got it, but shit happens. You got vaccinated and you got your booster, and that's all you can really can do. So so yeah. <laughs> I guess that's uh, that's my talk, I guess, about how my COVID experience went. I still have a couple more days till my quarantine is up and I'll be able to hang out with, you know, my fiance and and go to work and stuff like that. Um, oh, yeah, that. Let's and, <laughs> you know, let's say you're not in a position to accept sick days. You know what I mean? You know, not everyone can afford, not everyone has sick days, not everyone has PTO. So, you know, you're putting someone's not 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 longevity, but like you're putting their stability at risk because if they miss sick days, you know, they're going to have to work double to make up the hours that they lost just so they can keep their homes, keep their insurance, you know, uh keep their benefits and you you want to strip that away because you want to be like I don't anti-vax like what the fuck like you want to strip that away of people like from people like not everyone has that not everyone I unfortunately am privileged to have that I don't know priv- I don't know if I should say privilege but like, I have that benefit. Like, I can afford to have sick days and I can afford to be home. You know, even if I did have my sick days, I can use my vacation time to stay at home and recover. But not a lot of people have that. So I'm blessed with that. And like I said, get fucking vax. It's a simple shot. You're going to feel sick, you know, the next day. Um, but that's just how it works. You know what I mean? You're going to be sick because you're, you have a dead virus and your body's going to take care of it, you know, right then and there or as best as it could. And then 
once you once your body does that and you recover, your body recognizes it now. Think of it as like a superpower internally in that, you know, when your body fights the real thing, it's like, oh, hell nah, we're going to fucking get this bitch. We're going to stomp this hoe out, you know? So, yeah. Um, and I, I'm sorry, like, if I made it sound that, like, like I'm guilt tripping, but it's true. Like, that's just how I, I think that's just how I feel. Like, that's just, I just feel like that's what happens. That's what's going to happen. And, you know, you want to fuck around and, and find out, then be my guest. But I'm just saying, man, I think we need to, I think all as we as humans need to be a little less selfish and be a little more, um, liable, you know what I'm saying? And start doing these changes for ourselves. So, yeah, that's all. Well, my name is Benjamin Lemus and that documents my, that concludes our talk. I love y'all. Peace.